Hey everyone, how to unity here? And before getting into today's video, I would really appreciate if you guys downloaded my newly released game on the Android App Store. And it's called Raining Boulders. I'll have a link in the description below to where you can download it. And with that, um, we can get started in today's video. So, in the scene right now, I have a FPS controller that I got from Standard Assets, an enemy, and a scene with three cubes and a plane as a floor. So, on our scene, we're going to click Window, AI, and Navigation. And if we click Bake on this, it's going to create a nav mesh walkable surface that our AI can um, navigate around. And on our enemy, we're going to go back into our inspector. We're going to create a new nav mesh agent on our enemy. And we're going to set our stopping distance to 2.5. Okay, so with that, that's basically the scene setup. And now in our assets, we're going to create a new script. And we're going to name it enemy follow. Double click this. And now in Visual Studio, we're going to say using Unity Engine dot AI. And we're getting, this is for a reference to all the AI components that we're going to be using. And we're specifically going to be using the nav mesh agent. So uh, reference to our nav mesh agent. And we're going to call it enemy. And we're going to get another reference to our player. So transform, public transform, player. And simply now we just go into the update method and we just say enemy dot set oh, destination. And we're going to pass in our player dot position. And that's basically it for the scene and script setup. And now if we set our references in the Unity editor, we should be able to click play and it should work. So we go into our, well, first we have to drag and drop our script onto our enemy object. So for our script, we're going to set our references. So enemy and player. So FPS controller right here. So we click play. And uh, if you look in the scene, you can see that our orange enemy cube is following the player so if we are to walk backwards and turn around our our enemy is following our player so that's basically it um, and if you guys enjoy this video make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and if you want to leave a review on my game or you liked it uh, a lot make sure to share it with your friends or um, uh, just help me out so um, and I really appreciate any feedback or anything to make my game a lot better so that's basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one